It's about a one and a half inch target. Most of those hits are, all those hits are the 4570. Marlin 1894S 44 Magnum. Got the Williams peep sight on it. Gonna be shooting the Lee 240 grain round nose cast bullet powder coated my hand load 100 yards well I took that scope off I'm going to regulate this is going to be my home defense and a short range brush gun so basically you know when I'm trying to kick the deer out of the woods I have something light and quick to lever open but I'm not too worried about it anymore I'm the right height I'm just way over to this side those sights are directly in the center so okay I came over 25 clicks left so uh, I was 12 and a half inches wrong so let's see what that does well I'll come up and uh, left a little bit more. I got these. There are Barry's 240 grain hollow point. It's the same load as what I just shot. I want to see where they hit. So yeah, maybe I'll back off that adjustment. It probably shoots a little bit screwy. So I'll come up again. Got one hit on that six inch. Um, the other target is uh, the same color as my front sight. So, you know, and this is just a reminder. Like if you're going to be hunting and you're choosing your front sight, don't make it the same color as the deer's hide because you won't know where you're aiming. A little bit right when the shot let loose. And I forgot to adjust, damn it. And right there, I was probably aiming about right there when the shot let loose. So I'm going to adjust over a little bit. Let me try to see if I can cross my damn legs. Being on this hill, that's just weird. Yeah, this is the this. Well, right there, it appears weird, like got mud on it somehow already. I don't see how that is possible. I'd also like to uh, congratulate President Trump on his re-election victory. Um, the uh, Democrats are trying to steal the election as we speak. It should have been uh, called last night, but uh, they're, uh, they still got some extra ballots they're going to uh, submit.